Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new series, Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020. Uh, I got the idea here from Decathlon Gamer. I've been watching him play some of his pro uh, sports basketball, and he mentioned something that he did with the college sim and piqued my interest, and I figured I would give it a shot. Um, I've played the Draft Day sports games uh, for a couple of years on and off. Um, I, I really like these, these sim type games, and I uh, wanted to try to expand the channel out to a different sport, so we're going to give basketball a whirl. So we're going to start from the very beginning. I have an idea as as to how I want to run this, so this first one will be just sort of a, um, I guess, an, a, you know, start to the season, kind of go over the game a little bit. Uh, I'm going to learn as I go here, as I've only played uh, the college game a little bit. I played uh, 2019 uh, for, I don't know, a month, month and a half, something like that, and it was fun. Um, but got on to other things, obviously. So we're going to jump in here and see if we can start up a series that uh, stands the test of time, as they say. So we're going to uh, new association, challenge mode. We are going to do promotion and relegation, which I found to be very interesting. So the save name is going to be NCAA. Association name, National Collegiate Athletic Oops. Association. Spelled right? National Collegiate Athletic Association. Yes. The NCAA Tournament. NIT. CIT, and then I don't remember what the fourth one's called, so the WOL is going to work fine. So we're going to start with, um, we are going to go on a 1 to 100 scale. I'm going to set job pressure to low because I don't want to, I don't want to get fired. <laughs> I want to uh, keep playing my team and, and, and see if we can, uh, we can go uh, as far as possible. I'm going to leave recruiting difficulty on normal just because I've never played the game you know, for, for an extended period of time. So I'm not even really sure how recruiting works. Like I said, I played it for a little while, but sort of hammered through it and didn't really look at the details. So that's something we're going to kind of do together here. So we will allow illegal recruiting. I, you know, that could be fun, I guess. So we'll see. So finalize, except uh, I already have a... Oh, all right, well... Apparently, I already set one up with that name. So let's call this one NCAA New. Will that work? Yes. All right. So we are going to be Big Poppy, as I am a Red Sox fan. For those of you who have watched my Out of the Park baseball series, know. Uh, my dream job is going to be the University of New Hampshire. That's where I went to college. So uh, they're my alma mater. Let's take a look at this. So we're going to go high ambition, academics, we'll leave average, discipline, uh, we'll leave average, integrity level will be high, and I have a bit of a temper, so we'll go with that one. Let's find a picture that looks remotely like me. Sure, that one looks good. And I don't wear suits, so let's find something that isn't a suit. Sure, that looks good. All right, so philosophies. Um, a veteran team, I mean, they're college players, so they're not going to play very, they're going to be there for four years potentially. So I'll leave that in the middle. Rotation, we'll bump it up a bit higher. I want to play with a high offensive pace, uh, high defensive intensity. There. Uh, defense crash boards, a little bit of full court defense, and we aren't gonna play the zone very much. I want to run a high high pay high paced style offense. Skill settings, and this is where Decathlon kind of gave me the idea. So I'm gonna go custom and custom. I'm gonna have a hundred rating for each, and we are going to drop each one of these down to one 
And we are going to, I guess we could set this on rookie. It doesn't really matter. And we are going to start from scratch. So all of our ratings are a one. And that's what we're going to go with. But we have the ability to get up to 100. So it's going to force us to do a good job. We are going to find New Hampshire. And you can see our team goals, win the conference tournament, win 10 games. This is the job I'm going to take to finalize, save, and create. And we will be back as soon as this finish loads. It takes a second to load, so as soon as this is done, we'll be back. Okay, we are good to go with the New Hampshire Tigers slash Wildcats. Um, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to jump right in. And, and the first episode could be a little choppy as I am uh, still trying to, you know, like I said, I'm going to try to figure out how to how to play the game on my own and and uh um yeah we'll see how it goes so inbox i know draft day does a really nice job of reminding you of what's coming up so that you don't miss things um and that's one of the things i really like so recruiting class and you know one of the things that they're also known for is because they don't have the official licenses they um they sort of make things not make things up but they change names of of some of the uh some of the the teams like durham is duke um spokane is washington um cincinnati jesuit i think is cincinnati uh university of cincinnati so um provo is obviously utah so you can see uh, they change the names of some of the teams uh to i don't know so that they don't get hit by licensing rules. Uh, I can skip the summer. I don't want to do that. Purchase my scouting reports, which is the next step here. We'll get to that in a minute. Scheduling notice. Our athletic director is putting together our non-conference schedule. And then our budget has $147,000. I've only got one scholarship open for next year, so we got to make it the right person. Um, $79,000 that I can spend on recruit recruiting tools or activities. Um, don't spend it all at once. That's the money for the entire year. Uh, let's take a look at, I think we can even look at our roster yet. Can we actually, no, I think it's all up at the top now. That's yeah, all up here. So you can see here's us. So, you know, these are all the things I put in before. And as, as my skills get better, you'll see this web kind of expand in different directions. Uh, failing to meet my goals could, could cause the board to fire me. Um, let's look at our staff right quick. Big Poppy, that's me. Nick Hill, not very good. Dion Hampton, not very good. Chevalier Williams, not very good. So, um... This is something we'll have to take a look at next season. Our roster. So we've got some good potential. We've got some good players. I think this is in relation to the, um, the conference that they're in. So they aren't going to be as good as, you know, they're in Conference S, so that's not going to be as good as a team that's in Conference A. A four-star isn't going to be as good as someone who's in Conference A. So, um, sort by potential. So we got Toby McGad, Tobe, Toby McGadney, um, shooting guard. Looks like he's got a good jumper. Um, that's about it. Doesn't really do much else all that well. He's got a good shot. Jason Brown, freshman, uh, freshman, sophomore, uh, freshman, a small forward rather. Uh, pretty good offensively across the board. Pretty good handle. Um, not very good defensively. Or that's defensive rebounding, actually. Um, Nolan Fanning, uh, junior point guard. Again, good offensively, good handle. We are not going to have a very good defensive team from the looks of it. This might be defensive IQ. Is that what this is? Let's take a look. Let's just look at a particular player. Discipline. Yeah. Defensive ability. He's a mid-range. Mid-range shooter. Mid-range to outside player. Cordell Gamble. 
We'll just go through this way and look at each player on the roster. Uh, not a very good defenser, not a very good defensive player, um, very athletic. Again, we got a lot of mid-range to it, or at least the first two players are, are mid-range type guys. Another mid-range player, Chris Howell, four-star, uh, junior. It looks like we're going to be a very mid-range um, um, focused club, which I'm not crazy about, but... Jason Brown, he's the one we looked at. He's a four-star freshman, four and a half potential. Again, more mid-range uh, shooting. Lester Ahern, half-star, two and a half-star. Sean Gooden, six-eight senior. Looks like one of the few players that at least has a little bit of inside chops. Um, but again, no defensive ability to speak of. Rodney Hawkins, he two star, three and a half star inside guy. Uh, not a very good rebounder for being our inside at six eight two seventy two. But he's only nineteen, so um, I played basketball against St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, Adam Stinnett. One star or half star, one and a half star sophomore. Benjamin Price, half star, one star. Willie Nolan, another mid range shooter. John Newton, one star, four star freshman. 6'1, 186. Looks to be a point guard. 62 potential ball handling. Brandon Satchel, half star, half star. Ward Masco. He's a senior walk-on. Dan Pinckney, two-star, three-and-a-half star, 6'5", 195. Um, yeah, another outside shooter. And Nolan Fanning. So so that's our roster. Um, dashboard. Just curious. Oh, that brings us to this page. Okay. So we only have one open roster spot. So, or one open um, uh, scholarship, rather. And if we look at our t if we look at our team, point guards, shooting. We've got upperclassmen here. We don't really have any developed freshman with the exception of Jason Brown. Willie Nolan's a sophomore. I, I mean, we really could, you know, look for it. I mean, I, we've got three sophomore seniors. I would say we want someone, we want a, a, def, a big defensive guy is, is kind of what I'm thinking we would want in terms of, of that one recruit. So let's go ahead and advance and it's going to have us purchase our scouting report. We got $79,000 for the year. Um, we're just going to buy the basic edition. You can see here the basic uh, edition reports contain a list of the top 200 seniors in the region with info on interest in your school. The gold star contains the basic edition information plus player rankings, rankings by position, one through five star ratings, and top school preferences. So um, since we only have one really active uh, or only have one um, uh, scholarship, I don't think it's necessary to, to invest everything in here. Let's get the basic edition. We will focus in on three or four different players, and we will um, go house on those guys. So let's go ahead and advance. That sound means I have a new message. And we'll check our inbox. summer travel schedule, uh, book transportation, attending any of the camps. Um, the only camps we're probably going to attend will be the Northeast camps because, again, we only have one scholarship. So let's just see what the AI suggests. It wants us to go to all of the regional camps, or at least the three, at least these three. We're not going to attend the national camps because these are elite level players that we're not going to get. Um, 
Southeast. I think we're actually just going to attend the Big Apple Showcase because we're not going to get... We're going to have to recruit locally, at least initially, uh, with the way our team is set up. So let's go ahead and advance. We can save that money for recruiting. Maybe slip a little envelope full of cash in the, in the pocket of one of our players and, and try to recruit somebody in. Finalizing travel and initializing recruiting. Please be patient as this process will take longer than others. So yeah, if you guys have never played this before or at least seen anything from this company, they have a football game, college football, basketball, college basketball, and I believe they have a golf game. And I think that's it. Um, the pro basketball game I've been a big fan of. I've played it uh, for three or four years. Um, I'll probably start up a series on that as well uh, at some point, but I wanted to get started with a college sim first. Got a message. It's still processing. All right, I will, I don't know how long this is gonna take, so I will come back when it stops processing. Okay, we've finished processing. So we are back and, okay, so what's recruiting is gonna be next. So we'll have to start digging into that a little bit. Let's see what the message is. It's probably gonna tell me about recruiting. Recruiting begins. Beginning this week, you can officially begin to recruit players for entry into your program next season. Recruiting will take place every week from now until the end of April. Remember to set your recruiting instructions every week as they will be cleared out each week except for your call list. Prior to your season starting, your tasks will be recruiting and eventually scheduling practice. Be sure you have set your recruiting instructions before you click the advanced button, the advanced button in the left side menu. The recruiting page is an option to see a recruiting calendar. This will give you each dates of the re recruiting period and their allowed actions. You should also visit your team strategy page. You can assign to coaches you want to be in charge of recruiting and scouting. Finally, be aware that the minimum test score for our entry into our school is 900. Scores are finalized as of January 28th each year, so please make an effort to recruit players who will meet that score and only recruit players at the end of the season who have met that score. All right, so recruiting instructions. Uh, let's see. Let's assign our coaches. For, I think they were already set by default, but let's take a look. All right, so we're going to make him the scout because he's the only one with a two-star ability. Um, Kim the recruiter, and we'll leave Chevalier Williams as the practice coach. All right. Um, recruit players. Let's take a look and see what we got. This message will only show on this date in the first season of a career just to help you get situated. There's a help button. Okay, got it. All right. So you can see you've got overall um, and their position within uh, their overall ranking um, nationwide and then their just their position within within the region, maybe. OS. That's their overall. It's the region. That's the state they live in. Let's go. Let's look at people that potentially have interest in us. Does anybody have any interest in us? Cool. Ugh. That's no good. All right. So. Let's, how do we want to do this? So we're looking at the Atlantic East region, full recruit list, uh, interested recruits. Is it just these six? Yeah, it's just these six. All right.
Um, so Kyle King, 599th over, uh, 599th overall. Top 10 schools are unknown. Has some interest in us, so that's good. It's a high school senior. So let's watch some film. We will watch game film of Kyle King. Um, his GPA is a 2.5. That's fine. Kevin Muckle. Anthony DeGray. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense to at least look at these guys. And then... At least look at some of them. And then see if maybe we can... Maybe we can try to find ourselves a higher level recruit and see if we can... We can we can gain some interest. Like we're not gonna lock down any of the these top guys, I don't think. But can we looking for somebody who he's a junior college guy. I mean, I'm looking at the numbers here. We're looking for, remember, we're ideally we wanted a, a big guy. Um, Eric Anderson. Let's watch some tape on Eric Anderson. I mean, maybe we can get lucky with some of these guys and we can convince them to come our way. Jerome Boston. Watch some film on. Him. What happened there? Uh, let's watch some film on Jerome Boston. Like those 13 and 11. Kyle Sweet, Sweet Wine, 6'8, 223. Smart kid. Let's watch some film on him. Alvin Logan. Watch some film on him. Quinn. Quinn? I'd say Quinn. Watch some film on him. Juan Ullman, watch some film on him. Got a couple more. Kyle Evans, watch some film on him. And Brad Hampton. Hampton. All right. So we're going to watch on those guys. Not going to host or visit any of them yet. See, we'll advance and we'll see if we can get any sort of uh, increase. On any of those guys. We're in the evaluation stage. National camps, right? We got the national camps coming up. So let's go ahead and advance. Couple of messages. National camps recap. Go to this one. We didn't, we're not going to this one either. Looks like this first season maybe I don't want to say quick, but it might be, you know, we don't have a lot of um 
not a lot we can do. We only have one scholarship, so we got to find the best possible person, and then um, and then hope that we make the right move. Let's look at. How can we look up people that we have contact? Will it show contacted? Yeah, okay. Um, interested. Okay, so we got a couple of evals back. So let's take a look at Kyle King. Good inside shooter, decent defense. Overall, he's a C. Okay. So let's do this. Look up this eval. Sort by that eval list. That might be... Yeah, we can. Okay. All right. So we want to... Can we add these guys to the watch list? Yes. All right. So this is perfect. This is what I wanted. Add all these guys to the watch list. So this guy, Quinn Hinton. Let's look here. Inside shooting. Overall, he's a B. Let's give him a call, shall we? He's not really interested. Let's see if we can get five minutes of his time. Don't bother calling. All righty then. <laughs> that didn't go well. Um, maybe we have to try to 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 to. Um, woo them, I guess, a little bit more before we uh, before we make any phone calls. So let's watch some film on some of these guys again. Uh, watch film. Want to see if we can see if we get any any sort of different responses i guess i don't really know how it works we're just going to sort of have to see how it goes like i said i'm learning as i go here all right so let's go ahead and advance Message, Houston Classic, we're not going to be a part of that. The only one that we were checking in on was the one from New York. So once that one comes back, we'll take a look at that. But Midwest, yeah, again, I don't care about those. Chicago Prep, great. Uh, recruiting. Yeah, see, it's in, it's up to the level rating on some of these guys. Let's look at Kyle King. He's still rated a C. Good scorer. I mean, this I think might be the end, the guy that we end up kind of looking at when it's all said and done. What does this button do? Button. It's... Oh, added to a call list. Okay. Let's give Kyle King a call. What did I want to discuss? Pitch areas. Playing time. Oh. 
He's not happy with that. Uh, pitch areas. School location. He doesn't have anything to say about that. Pitch areas. Uh, what do we want to look at? Location. He was busy tweeting. <laughs> General information. Discuss our interests. All right, we're going to go ahead and end it. I don't want to don't want to tweak him. So so far, my recruiting has not been not been great. But it's still early here. Only July. We have until April or something. So we're in the dead time. watch some more film on some of these guys may as well see if we can get some accurate reads see if we can get different ratings or more Accurate ratings, I guess. We have an alert. Is this alert? Recruiting. Got it. Nothing else I want to do here. Right? I don't want to... I'm not... I don't want to offer anybody anything yet. Go ahead and advance. Summer camp. Is this the East Coast? Atlantic East, whatever they call it. Memphis, okay. All right, let's go ahead to Southeast. Here we go. This is the one, the Big Apple Showcase. That's the one that we want to look at. Let's go ahead and advance. I'm mean, Not that we're going to have a shot at any of these players. Eric Anderson attended. He's one of the players that we have uh, on our list. He's, he's really good. I don't think we have a shot at him, but he's really good. All right. Um, oh, good. Okay, so it gives you the list of the players that were there. Okay, so let's take a look at recruiting again. And I could completely be doing this wrong. And if I am, and you've got more experience at this than I do, please let me know. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> and, and give me some tips. Um, some any do we have any additional interest now, or is it still just those six people? Still just those six. Kyle King is the only two star. So let's can't really scout him live because the season hasn't started yet. I don't want to do it yet. It's evaluation time, though. So let's do this. Let's watch some film on Kyle King. Let's scout him live. Just do it. And let's look at our watch list. On Pullman is actually... Is that, hmm. Let's, I don't know that I'm going to have a shot at him, but let's watch some film, scout him live, and see if we can potentially bump this up some. Because if those ratings are accurate, um, that's somebody I definitely want to go after. So let's advance.
see now he's down to a C. He's definitely a top 10 player at the Big Apple Showcase. He tries to drive, but it's not his strong suit. Kyle King. Doesn't give us any indication that he's even considering us. He has some knowledge of the 1 2 2 zone. Okay. Let's help quiet scholarship. All right. Might have to wait for the season. I, I don't know if to wait for the season to start to see how we do as a team. If we start to play well, we might generate some additional interest. Maybe. I don't know. Just going to have to see. Norton candidates. David Harris out of Syracuse. Big East, well represented. Steve Nelson, Brandon Dupree, Stuart Royton. Travis Felton, Idris Cook, Mark Galloway, Colin Bowman, Therese Randall, and Antoine Hayes. All right. Uh, recruiting. Uh, Alvin Logan didn't really stand out, but good inside shooting, good outside shooting, good rebounder, not a very good defender. Let's watch some film on Alvin Logan. Let's go back to the full recruit list and see if we've got anybody else showing some interest in us. Looks like it's just the same six people. Ooh, wait a second. We got a three star. Oh, Kevin Muckle. Oh, we better get on that. So let's watch some film. Kevin Muckle. Let's advance. Not that we necessarily need another guard, but we can get ourselves a three star recruit that something we have to consider, right? Let's take a look at Kevin Muckle. Oh, he's good on the inside. 6'6", 241. Terrible defender. Decent scorer. If, I mean, he could potentially be a... Uh, um, an inside player for us. Uh, let's watch some film on him again. Let's. Oh, it's quiet right now, so I don't want to. Yeah, we may as well host him. See if we can generate some additional interest. I think. See what we have now. So, interest is now warm, so that's good. What's this? All right, so let's take a look at Kevin Muckle again. Oh, it's just saying that he's visited the school. Okay. Good on the inside. Rebounding is a little bit better. Defense is no good. Um,. What about Kyle? Has he still not in his top 10? Let's watch some more film. Let's post Mr. King. He's declined a visit. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this might be our target unless we can get somebody new here. Wanted to let you know it was a cool visit. It'll be tough for him to make up his mind, but he will let us know when he does. Okay. Let's 
I know this first episode isn't all that thrilling, guys. It's a lot of clicking, um, but we're going to play up till probably the start of the season. We'll call it an episode, and then the next episode will be um, will be some actual gameplay, which is kind of what I think the whole point of this is, right? Anything different here? No. Let's watch some film. Can't scout them live because there's no season. Let's add them to the watch list. Let's give them a call. Which areas? Playing time. Not interested in that. Okay. Well, that didn't work. These guys don't like to talk. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just because my guys have got a one in every skill. All right, let's advance. My guess is that once the season starts, if we start to play well, we'll get some additional interest. This is early season scouting. Uh, I'm going to look at... Does this have, like, important... Dates, like if I go to the dashboard. Not yet. Doesn't have our schedule or it's under insights. Oh, key dates. This is what I wanted. All right, so we are at September 4th. So coming up next is scheduling decisions. But yeah, we still have some time before uh, the signings, so we can only post them and watch them live during the contact during evaluation period. Next evaluation period is November through March, so pretty much the entire season, and then. Okay, so this is going to be, so once we hit November is when we'll start to um, potentially make some offers. All right, well, that makes sense. Let's just take a look here. Let's see if anybody new is interested. Nope. Is he listed as top 10 yet? No, he still hasn't listed as top 10. It muckles now down to a one star, though. So that's not good. And we've got Brett Sherrill, who's new to the list. He's not new to the list. Let's watch some film. Yuck. All right, let's advance. Yeah, I have a feeling this first season we're going to have to play well in order to draw attention from recruits. Hopefully we can move up in, uh, in, in the relegation, um, in the relegation uh, uh, rankings. He's another good shooter, good passer, good ball handler. Doesn't shoot many jump shots. Okay. He's a good shooter. Uh, do I want to host him? He's declined to visit. Wonderful. All right. So it's processing, recruiting, and creating schedules. Um, give it a second to do that. And when we come back, we'll see what the next, uh, the next part. Oh, never mind. There it is. I went a lot quicker than I expected it to. All right, so again, Brett Sherrill, Kevin Muckle is dropped significantly. That for an inbox, I think it's our schedule. 
has been created. All your conference games are locked, and some of your non-conference are not locked. Any games that are not locked, you can schedule a different opponent from the available list to finalize your schedule. Click the Advanced button. All right, so let's look at where do we go to look at the schedule. Here, dashboard, team schedule, I can't look at. Oh, I guess I have to advance into scheduling. Right, okay. Recruiting will be run when you advance. Be sure any recruiting actions are done here. Okay, so these are the games that I can change. Yeah, so we got Murray State, Lewiston, it's probably Maine, North Carolina, Asheville, Oregon, South Carolina, LaSalle, Mississippi State, Greenville, Philadelphia, Jesuit. Is that is that Temple? That's probably Temple. West Long Branch and St. Louis Gnomes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm good with this uh, with this schedule. And we've got Army, uh, Hartford, uh, University of it's, uh, UMBC, I think, Louisiana Monroe, Idaho State, Binghamton, Morgan State, Norfolk State, Eastern Illinois, Western Illinois, Kansas City, Sacramento State, Army, which I already said, what is the Bulls Creek Donkeys? Bowie's Creek Decay <laughs> and the Hartford Eagles. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and advance. All right, so our first game of the season is on the 16th against Murray State. Um, we're on to recruiting again. Let's just take a look. I think there's a whole lot we want to do right now. I think it's going to be a matter of this. Oh, they... Okay, so some of these players have already um, uh, committed. Interesting, okay. So Randy Hackett is the only guy who's interested in us now. That's interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's look at the call list just to see, or excuse me, not the call list, the watch list. Yeah, it looks like these guys all committed. Ugh, okay. All right, so we're going to have some work to do here. How do we get someone to show interest in us? Watch some film. Um, he's not going to come. Right. Well, that's an issue. Now let's get rid of anybody who is available. I'm not interested in anybody who's confirmed. Only guy we have is this Randy Hackett character. Let's uh, watch some film on him. Uh, uh, what else we want to take a look at? Watch some film on Andrew Herrick. He did. Six foot one ninety four. Let's take a look at this guy. I'm really just looking at stats. I mean, the stars are one thing, but really all I can do is look at stats. Kyle Williams. Watch some film him. Let's also add to the watch list. 
Eric Anderson, he's not going to be interested in us, but we'll keep an eye on him just to be safe. Joel Johnson. Jerome Bass. That three, those three nine GPAs are nice. Add those guys as well. Generate some interest. Let's visit schedule the visit to the home of Jerome Bass schedule a visit here too tact let's go ahead and sim ahead maybe we can generate some interest with a coach's visit I really would like to secure a big man, one who can play some defense. Looks like we have a lot of outside shooting, but not much of an inside presence. It's Johnson. Uh, okay. Neither of them liked us. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh... Practice button, six weeks. All right, so shuffle. Wish it would tell me what it meant. And full court man to man, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, those all look good to me. Guess. Rooters again. Anybody with any interest in us? Ugh. Okay. Um. Yeah, we may have to wait until later in the season to to try to secure a, a late year uh, recruit as none of these guys are interested in us. And let's go ahead and advance. All right, I think what I'm going to do here is call it an episode, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and sim ahead to the start of the season. I'll continue to mess around with recruiting. Uh, so please leave a like, subscribe, give me some comments, and uh, we will talk again soon. Bye-bye.